Welcome to Dell Technologies Connectric Cisco MDS How To Series. How to configure switch priority for principal switch selection on a Cisco MDS switch. Reference Dell Knowledge Base Article Number 203079. This video was created to demonstrate how is the principal switch elected in a fabric. Any new switch can become principal switch when it joins a stable fabric. In a fiber channel network, the principal switch assigns domain ID when a new switch is added to an existing fabric. Principal switch assigns the FC IDs for a disk or host that exited and re-entered the fabric. When two fabrics merge, the principal switch selection process determines which one of the pre-existing switches become the principal switch for the merged fabric. The election of the new principal switch is characterized by the following rules. A switch with a populated domain ID list takes priority over a switch that has an empty domain ID list. The principal switch becomes the one in the fabric with the populated domain ID list. If both fabrics have a domain ID list, the priority between the two principal switches is determined by the configured switch priority. This is a user-settable parameter. The switch with highest priority becomes the principal switch. If two switches have the same configured priority, the switch with the lowest WWN becomes the principal switch. By default, the configured priority is 128. The valid range to set the priority is between 1 and 254. Priority 1 has the highest priority. Value 255 is accepted from other switches, but cannot be locally configured. When to do this? When you want to change priority on any switch and make that as principal switch, based on user requirements. Before you begin, you can configure the priority value on the switch for vSAN using these steps. Enter into configuration mode and run the command FC domain priority X vSAN vSAN ID, where X is the priority value. The priority configuration is applied to runtime when the FC domain is restarted. This configuration is applicable to both disruptive and non-disruptive restarts. To restart the fabric non-disruptively in vSAN, use the following configuration steps. Enter into configuration mode and run the command FC domain restart vSAN vSAN ID. To restart the fabric disruptively, use the FC domain restart disruptive vSAN vSAN ID command. This command will cause all devices of all switches in that vSAN to log out causing data traffic disruption. Here is the demonstration. Check the fiber channel domain information for vSAN1 on both the switches. You can notice that switch 1 is a subordinate switch as it has runtime priority 128. And switch 2 is the principal switch as it has runtime priority 2, which is greater priority than 128. Now, let us make switch 1 as principal switch by setting greater priority than switch 2. To configure priority value on switch 1, enter into configuration mode. Run the command FC domain priority 1 v san 1. Verify the domain information on v san 1. 128 is still the runtime priority but configured priority is changed to 1. The configured priority is applied to runtime when the FC domain is restarted. Run the command FC domain restart vSAN1. Check the FC domain information again on both the switches. You can notice that switch 1 is now the principal switch as runtime priority is changed to 1 and switch 2 is a subordinate switch. When you merge two fabric switches having same configured priority, the switch with lowest WWN becomes the principal switch. In this example, both the switches have same runtime and configured priority, 1. But switch 2 has lowest WWN. Hence, when these two switches merge, switch 2 becomes the principal switch.
and switch 1 becomes a subordinate switch. Important Notes Fiber channel domains can be restarted disruptively or non-disruptively. If you perform a disruptive restart, reconfigure fabric frames are sent to other switches in the fabric, and data traffic is disrupted on all the switches in the vSAN, including remotely segmented ISLs. If you perform a non-disruptive restart, build fabric frames are sent to other switches in the fabric, and data traffic is disrupted only on that switch. Refer to the following for more information. Dell Knowledge Base Article Number 203079 Cisco MDS 9000 Family CLI Configuration Guide Chapter Configuring Domain Parameters About Switch Priority Thank you for watching. 